guys, a long time no see, welcome back to my channel. I haven't done a sit down video in a really, really long time and I am sorry, but lots, lots of stuff has been going on and hopefully I can share that with you soon. I really wanted to do a my current favourites video just because I don't do favourites very often and there's quite a few things that I've been loving recently so I thought I would share with you. There's a mix here of beauty, fashion and then kind of more general things so I will just get going. Oh and by the way, I've had my hair done since I last uh, saw you, so hope you like it, I love it. The first thing I want to talk about is sort of related to hair, so great transition there. I was always using a Tangle Teaser for a really, really long time and I loved them, um, but I felt like they were kind of, I don't know, not quite doing the job right. They weren't, I felt like I was just like pulling my hair out all the time. My hair is kind of quite bad condition after kind of having it dyed quite a few times, but I saw quite a few people talking about wet brush pros, especially Lily Pebbles and a few other people on my Twitter. So I thought I would give one of them a go and I really, really love it. They are quite expensive for a hairbrush. I think it was about £10. And when I was buying it, I was like, do I really, really need another hairbrush? But I really, really love it and um, I think it was definitely worth investing in just because it feels like my hair is not being pulled out and um, it gets rid of the tangles a lot, lot better than a tangle teaser, I think. So yeah, let me know if you've got one of these and if you prefer them to a tangle teaser or if there's another alternative. This isn't really beauty, but it's related to hair, so I thought I would do this next. And I really love kind of having my hair like a little bit kind of half up, half down. And I was using kind of hair bubbles all the time, but I feel like if you use hair bubbles, it kind of, again, it kind of ruins your hair and, oh, yeah, you can get into a right tangled mess. And I was really after some grips like this. Um, they're just like those little kind of clawy grip things and this is a really really random favourite but I really wanted to talk about it because these are like a little life saviour. They mean obviously you can put your hair up in lots of different ways and it's not kind of pulling at your hair much much better. And I managed to find an 8 pack in Primark and these were literally £1 so amazing. And yeah I thought I would share that with you because I know they're kind of quite popular at the moment and if you're struggling to find them like I was then definitely go and go to Primark and see if they've got some. They have brown ones, clear ones and black ones I think, so lots of different variety and yeah I love them a lot. So carrying on with the beauty theme, I've got two lip products to talk to you about and you guys know that I love lip products, I just love them, um, especially kind of like your lips but better shades and these two are definitely along those lines. The first one is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip pencil thing. Um, I actually had a voucher for a department store and um, I went and got this just because it's so expensive for me, I wouldn't probably have gone to buy it with my own money. Um, I think it's like 16 50 which is absolutely ridiculous for a lip pencil. But anyway, obviously everybody loves Pillow Talk and they now have the lipstick version, but I had heard that their lipsticks aren't that great, so I really wanted to try the lip pencil that everyone raves about. And yeah, I really, really love it. And it really is my lips but better because it, I swear it's exactly the same colour as my lips. So yeah, I really, really like this. And as you guys know, I love Max Saw. And this is just a little bit pinkier and much lighter than that. Saw is quite browny. So if you're after a your natural lips but better shade, then definitely check this out. And the next lip product I want to talk about is the one that I'm actually wearing now. As I just said, I love Max Saw. And I then tend to always wear that with the collection um, Cream Puff lip cream in cotton candy so if you always ask me what I'm wearing on my lips it normally is that combination but I had seen um actually my boss at work she wears this lipstick all the time and I was like what is that I really really want it and it is the MAC Mer lipstick so it's the M-E-H-R lipstick and it's in matte and honestly this is so so nice it's what I'm wearing now it's definitely similar to Saw in the colour that it is but it's more pinky and I really really like the formula of it um, it kind of comes off quite naturally as you kind of go along the day it doesn't last as long as like Max Saw lip liner does but it's really really nice and it doesn't mean that you kind of get a horrible like round lip liner look to your lips it does all come off quite at the same time and it, I absolutely love this shade it's definitely now one of my favourite lipsticks to wear and I've been reaching for it probably every day since I bought it so again I got this with that same voucher so um, yeah I got to little treat myself a couple of books actually um, before I then get on to fashion favourites I am trying to read books more regularly I love reading but I really struggle sometimes to just enjoy myself and have a good book relaxation time but I have been reading this I've actually finished it now and it's by Cecilia Ahern and it's the year I met you and my friend Charlotte actually sent this to me and I really really loved it I tend to either get into a book or I don't and I got into this straight away and I really really like it and I'd recommend it for like a summer read although it's probably quite a good read for any time of year really and um, it's about a lady that kind of loses her job and it's kind of about her year 
of um, yeah, just trying to kind of get back to normal and that kind of thing. And yeah, I won't go into too much detail because I could ramble on about it, but I would really recommend this if you're looking for a new book to read. The next book I want to talk to you about is a recipe book, and that is by the lovely Jo Wicks. If you watched my last, I think it was my last vlog, I was raving about this cookery book. I really was. Um, I absolutely love this. I actually bought this for Dan for Christmas, but I love it. Um, we don't do the exercises in it, we just do the recipes, so um, I can't vouch for kind of his actual kind of sustain plan or his an exercise plan but his recipes are absolutely amazing and every one that we've tried has been a success and that's not normally the way with the cookery book in my opinion normally I like like one in the whole book but honestly I think it's amazing and it's really really quick all the recipes are so so quick they're all kind of I would say kind of oriental kind of style and um, a lot of kind of rice and um, kind of noodles and that kind of thing but I absolutely love it and they really really are really quick really really tasty and you only need kind of like a few ingredients so I'd really really recommend this if you are after some new recipes to try. Moving on to my fashion favourites and I ended up getting this Topshop coat. I feel like this is one of those things, it's that Topshop coat. Um, everybody was kind of wearing it and this went down into the sale for like 30 pounds and I had something to return. And instead of returning it, I exchanged it for this coat. Um, I'll insert a picture of me here wearing it um, because the lighting isn't good enough here for me to kind of put it on in a, like a little um, insert. But I absolutely love it. I got it in the petite size, I think, um, in size eight. Actually, maybe, oh yeah, I did get it in the petite. And I absolutely love it. I had ummed and ahed about this for ages is, and then I tried it on and I was with a friend and she was like just get it so I was like okay I will yeah I love it it's not a winter coat because it's bloody freezing it's not thick at all probably more of a spring kind of coat but I really really love it and I think with like jeans and like a plain black or grey kind of top it looks really really nice and I think you can dress it up or down you could be quite casual or quite smart so yeah love it okay this is the last favourite other I wanted to talk about but it's probably my favourite I need to stop saying favourite. <laughs> it is this bag, which is from Matalan, and this is amazing dupe, I think, for the Chloe bags that are really, really high in at the moment, and it's got this kind of like suede um, top to it, this lid, lid, I don't know, flap, um, and then faux leather here, as you can kind of see there, so it's like two-toned, which I really, really love, and then it's got this kind of gold loop to it, which again is really, really nice, and it just has one flap and then kind of one... Um, compartment in the middle there is a zip and there are like a couple of like foam compartments that kind of thing but um it's got like quite a long handle but I ended up kind of making a new hole for it so that it wasn't quite too long um, and again you would have seen me wearing that in that same picture of the coat but I'll insert it again just so you can kind of see but I absolutely love this I think it was 16 pounds which is probably a bit more pricey for like Matalan but considering it's an amazing dupe for a Chloe bag which is about a thousand pounds I think it's pretty damn good. I'll leave a link if I can find it because I'm pretty sure they still have it and definitely go and hunt this down because oh my god, it's beauty. It is a beauty, isn't it? That is me done. I hope I didn't talk too much about every little thing, but I really, really missed you guys and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see on my channel and yeah, don't forget to like this video and also in the comment, let me know um, what your kind of favourites are at the moment. I actually forgot to mention that this jumper is sort of one of my favourites as well, which is from ASOS. It's got kind of a stripy bottom as well and I'll leave that in the box below as well if you're interested. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye guys.